Hey guys, what is up? Avi here, and welcome back to our Tekinter series. In this video, we're going to go ahead and understand the Tekinter Canvas. So what is the Canvas, guys? The Canvas is basically a drawing tool that Tekinter provides. On top of the Canvas, you can go ahead and draw shapes. You can draw lines, circles, ovals, rectangles, etc. And basically, any sort of 2D game that you make, you will be using Canvas to draw those items on the screen. So let's go ahead and understand how to actually create a canvas on our Tekinter code. Right now, I have cleared all our code, so we just have a simple view with root.geometry 300 by 300. The next step is to actually initialize the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and create a variable. C is going to be equal to capital C canvas over here. And then inside of brackets, just like we had our button and our label, we're going to pass in the home where our canvas is located. In our scenario, it's root. After that, you can give your canvas a height and a width. Now, right now we've given our view root.geometry a 300 by 300 view. So what we can do now is give our canvas, let's say height is equal to uh, 250 and width is equal to 300. So this is going to create a canvas inside of our window. After that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give it a background color. So the property BG is equal to background color. And I'm going to say background color should be equal to blue. So now go ahead and save that. If you run this guys, you are going to see something like this. Nothing shows up. The reason for that is we also have to pack it. So go ahead and say C dot pack like that. And now if you run it guys, you're going to see a window. This blue box is your canvas. The white box behind it is your root window. All right, fantastic. So the first item that we're going to create on our canvas is going to be a line. Now the function for that guys is going to just create underscore line again. When you're creating a line, it takes in four parameters, the X, Y of your initial position and the X, Y of your ending position. So the way that works guys, here is a nice diagram over here. We have basically how your canvas is created. Zero comma zero is your top left position of your canvas. And after that, you can move pixels across to the right as your width and pixels down as your height. And this scenario guys, I have drawn a line. My starting point is five comma five. My ending point is around 100 comma seven. So the way that works guys, again, you specify your initial point, you specify your ending point, and then you draw the line. So let's go ahead and add a line onto our view over here. I'm going to say line or L in this scenario is going to be C dot create line. And then I'm going to pass in some coordinates. So again, the initial point five comma five, and then the ending point over here, which is slightly more width. So hundred, and then let's move down to pixels seven. Okay. So we create a line five comma five hundred comma seven. Go ahead and save that. Now let's go ahead and run the code and see what happens. And we have over here a very faint black line. As you can see, it is tilted. So my sort of diagram is a bit wrong. I drew it wrong. But basically the way it works is it's going to draw a line from your starting point to your ending point. So let's go ahead and actually make this a bit thicker. I'm going to go ahead and give it the width attribute and set this equal to five. And I'm also going to make this um, go further across the screen. So that way we should be able to see it better. Go ahead and save this and run it. And now we're going to have a line again. It is more thicker and it does go across the screen, but you still can't see it. You can hardly see it. So I'm going to make my width even more bigger guys. And I'm going to make this 200. So now our line is actually going to go diagonally across the screen. Go ahead and save this, run it. And now we're going to have a beautiful black line going across the screen. Fantastic. So that is how you create a line on your canvas. The second object guys is going to be an oval. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now. O is equal to C dot create oval. And again, if you want to make a circle with an oval, it's relatively straightforward. You pass in your initial points. I'm going to say 20 comma 20. You pass in your ending points. I'm going to say 100 comma 100. And then after that, guys, you're going to go ahead and specify a fill color. Let's go ahead and fill our oval with the color red. By doing so, we'll see a red, beautiful circle. Go ahead and run this code and we're going to see a red circle right over here. So again, all we're doing guys is we're specifying the starting point 20 comma 20, comma 20, the ending point 100 comma 100. And then it sort of creates an oval in that square that we provide. So hopefully that makes sense guys. That is create line and create oval. Let's go ahead and do one more. And that is going to be create arc. So the way arc works guys is we're going to say over here, arc is equal to canvas canvas dot create arc. Whoops. In the scenario C dot create arc. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and pass in our coordinates. So the way an arcs coordinates work guys is you're going to go ahead and specify the starting point 
um, an ending point in our scenario, I'm going to say 10 comma 50 and then 240 comma 210. Okay. And then after that, you're going to specify where it should start and how far it should go. So I'm going to go ahead and say our extent should be equal to 150 and the fill of our sort of arc should be red. Okay. So all this will make sense in just a second. If you go ahead and run this, let's take a look. We have our view. This is our arc. So again, the ending point of our arc 240 comma 210 is this point over here. The initial point 10 comma 50 would be somewhere around here, um, 10 across 50 down. And then after that, when you're saying the extent, you're basically starting at zero, which is this horizontal line and going 150 degrees across. Now, if I did something like, let's say 250, it would go even more. Go ahead and run that. You would see something like that. And if you do 300 guys, it would make a complete or 360, it would make a complete rotation. So again, your extent would be basically how far do you want to grow? Um, 360 actually is nothing. So if I do 359, I will get my complete oval or complete arc. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. In this video, we understood how the canvas feature works, how you can add items to your canvas. Again, we covered three main canvas functions, c.createLine, c.create um, oval and c.createArc. There's also c.createRectangle, guys, and that creates the basic rectangle. You can play around with that as well. If you want, let me actually create this very quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and say over here, my rectangle is equal to c.createRectangle, pass in 20, 20, 100, 100, and fill is equal to red. So just to show you another create function that we have, we have a red sort of square, except all squares are rectangles. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. That was it for this lecture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.